This is the last thing I want. What the? Emily did wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome back. Today, oh my gosh, such an exciting video. Lidl have only gone and released an Emily in Paris range. You heard it here first. Of course, I was like, I've got to make a video about this and try literally everything. In short, I will only be eating Emily in Paris branded foods for the day. Oh my God, there's a fight. I am hungry, so I'm very ready for breakfast. I went for the Emily in Paris crepes. They had two flavors, I think one was like, I wanna say strawberry, and the other was blueberry jam, and I thought, blueberry jam? I don't think I've ever had that before. And then, I also saw this, which is a salted caramel spread. I also just love all the branding, and then, to drink. I went for the sparkling pink lemonade. Again, look how gorgeous that is. I feel like the packaging is so cute. But anyway, I'm gonna have a glass of that. Let's get taste testing, guys. They're so diddy is the only thing. Ooh, look at that. Right, let's go. It doesn't look very appetizing and it doesn't look very French. It's the texture of like lemon curd, but sort of caramel. That is lovely. Oh my God, that is so good. Mmm, yeah, that's really good. Emily did well. I don't have toast a great deal, but if I'm gonna have toast, I want something fun on it. I want your marmite, I want your peanut butter. I can't just have toast and butter. It just doesn't excite me. That excites me. Mm. Right, I'm gonna go in with the blueberry crap. It's just so diddy. It doesn't smell of anything. Oh, that's not great. It's a little bit meh. Do you ever like do that? <coughs> I look like I'm in Hogwarts. Ew, this is actually disgusting, why am I child? Okay, it's also dry, really dry. Yeah, something's not right about that. Ugh. The blueberry matcha at blank street the blueberry taste is so strong but it's so good to be honest if i blind taste tested that i probably wouldn't even be able to tell that was blueberry anyway lemonade again the strawberry lemon flavor is a bit weak it's nothing to rave about the best bit is definitely the salted caramel spread mm. <gasps> that is so <laughs> literally making me speechless so good guys Went to Box Park the other day. I know I always bang on about Box Park, but it is just my second home. I went to Spy Shack, then posted about it on Instagram and tagged Shay Shack. I literally had to take the post down the next morning because I was so embarrassed. Anyway, oh my God. I got the, it was a lamb shack sandwich. So basically just like a cheesy lamb curry in a sandwich. I also got masala fries, which were just to die for. Yeah, it's now my favorite place ever. <laughs> Why did I end on this? Oh, that is nasty. No, by the way, I hope you guys know that I'm in my puzzle era at the moment. One of my friends got me the cat olive bones puzzle the other day. Oh my gosh, so obsessed. That is me to a T. That to me tastes almost like the like cheap diet lemonade you get in like Lidl to be fair. Um, okay, rating of breakfast, salt and caramel spread was in insane, absolutely incredible. The rest of it could take or leave. In fact, I very happily leave those blueberry crepes. We have a live record of James trying the, the toast and he said it tastes like fudge. Tastes like fudge. I feel like that is actually a very accurate representation of what it is because the texture is very like, mm. very thick, isn't it? Mm. Woohoo! Okay, the kitchen is actually a mess. It's kind of stressed me out, but I am going to make lunch first because I'm real hungry. We are starting off strong with some pasta actually, but it is called girasoli which to me sort of just looks like a little pasta it looks really nice actually so this has got goat's cheese and honey in it i'm just gonna make like a tomatoey sauce to have with it got some little snacky bits as well some chocolate champagne truffle chocolate and then also some white nougat with almond and honey i've never had nougat before don't have a clue what it tastes like so i'm really excited to try that so We've got the pasta here. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't really look the part now that it's been cooked. I tried not to go too crazy with the sauce because I was like, <coughs> is it good? Sorry, that's insane. I'm too excited. Eat that right now. Mm, 
That's insane. That's one of the nicest little pastas I've ever had. Oh, it's the goat's cheese flavour. It's the goat's cheese. The goat's, so but good. with the sweetness of the honey, it's so oh, nice. <gasps> oh my That's god. So good. I don't want to finish it because that will be the end of the best pasta of my life. Insane. Goat's cheese and honey. I think mm. they're my new favourite flavours. I feel like that's probably one of the biggest hits ever in one of your food challenges. I think so. Yeah. And we are slightly hungover today as well, so I feel like we both need yeah. a good lunch. Mm. That is made up for the blueberry crepes. Oh my god, it's over. I know, I'm so sad. This oh. is a really sad time. That pasta was 10 out of 10. Yeah. In fact, 11 out of 10. Snacks. I don't know what to start with. Should I start with the nougat? I'm feeling like this is like fudge. It almost looks like marzipan mixed with fudge. Let's go. What the? <laughs> that is not what I was expecting at all. I must have marzipan. Do you like marzipan? Yeah. I can't taste the honey. The almond in it is nice. I can't work that out at all. See, this one's got more nut in it. Is this like a French delicacy, Nougat? I can't work it out. Yeah, I think I do like that. It is sort of marshmallowy, actually, on the middle. Hmm, it's not terrible. Right, I'm gonna try some of the chalky. Oh, this smells odd. It's literally on a bit of cardboard. Okay. Oh my God. It tastes like champagne. Oh. I kind of love it. <laughs> I can't work it out. Maybe if you weren't hungover. I think if I wasn't hungover, I'd really like that. That was all right. It's fine. I probably wouldn't buy it again just because that's not really my favourite sort of texture in chocolate. I like chocolate to be like crunchy. Neither of those things are bad, but maybe not champagne chocolate on hangover. You should have got some pink lemonade though, actually. Oh, I don't want to. You know when certain things just tip you over the edge on a hangover, that is one of them. Ugh. Okay, all in all, a pretty good lunch actually. I was about to end the video then, I was about to be like, thanks for watching. Um, guess we'll see you at dinner time. Guys, we've got a new lamp Look and the lighting. lighting. Oh. Even though it's actually been like a reasonably warm day and quite sunny, I'm really feeling the autumn vibes. We've had the autumn candle on, I've got my long PJs on. Anyway, I'm actually calling my family in a minute, so I thought I'd do dinner first. I'm actually quite excited for this. The main event is a salmon tart. Why does it say salmon tart and leek? Not salmon and leek tart. Imagine there's just oh, like a leek flag. on the side. That's what it looks like. Really weird combination, but I am having crisps with it. I do kind of feel like though they do that in European countries. Yeah, they do. They say like chips, but it's actually crisps. Yeah. Mustard flavour. Mustard flavour. I'm going to do a little salad with it as well, so it's not pure beige. At the time I bought this, I was feeling very up for life, up for drinking. I bought this massive thing of shandy. After two nights of drinking heavily, this is the last thing I want. Why are there so many? Yeah. Oh, they are quite cute. She's a beer girl now. What is shandy again? Half beer, half lemonade. At least it's got half lemonade. But again, what's with the lemonade? Like, why am I having so much lemonade tonight? But it's shandy with grenadine flavour. What's grenadine? Well, it smells nice. It smells like, um... Grenadine. Grenadine. That doesn't even taste alcoholic, really. Try some. I actually yeah, don't like beer that. Grenadine. I'd have that again. Well, I'm going to have oh. that bread again. Oh. No? <laughs> Too sweet. Oh, see, I like that. Oh, oh to be fair, 0.5% volume. Uh, I think I'll be all right. <laughs> oh, here's the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, I made an appearance. Are you going to get through all of these? Mm -hmm. Well, it'll be quite good if people come around and they're, I'm like, do you want a shandy? And they're like, what the heck is a shandy? Yeah. And here you go. They'll be like, that's disgusting. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go put this in the oven. Be right back. Mm -hmm. Mood. Sorry, the lighting's terrible, but um, look at James's orzo. This doesn't look as appetising as James's, I'll be honest. So we've obviously got the tart, the crisps, and the salad. Oh! The Bella Zoo balsamic vinegar is Dreaming. the best thing on this earth. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Ugh, my hand. I feel like I'm going to drink the balsamic wax. No. Why do they look like Why put that there? Sponsored. These crisps smell really good. It was really hard not to have a sneaky one, actually, before. I'm surprised you didn't see this. I mean, she's dedicated to these videos. Mm, they're nice. Yeah? Mm hmm. All whole tomatoes. I'm still going to cut them up though. Like, I love tomatoes so, so much, much. But I can't eat something about eating a whole raw tomato. Look. I'm going to try the tart. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Big thumbs up. Oh, oh my, my god. 
I'm so excited. That is really good, but it is a little on the dry side. You got this? I've not been fed since I was about 10. 10? <coughs> Here comes the tracky right. choo choo. This is actually why it's a No, it's yeah, that. Yeah, it's not it. Oh, no, no, you've oh. Got, no, you've got to come to the spit of the fork. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Mm. I can't believe that I just choo choo trained you. This is what happens when you live together. Oh my god, what the hell? To my UTI girlies and boys, to be fair, but. Wow, can boys get UTIs? They can. Can they? But I learnt this stat the other day. Girls are eight times more likely to have oh. a UTI. Oh. On an environment cranberry extract, vitamins, they have been great actually. Yeah, you haven't had one in about a year now, I think. I'm loving this. Okay. And actually, it's quite light, so I get why you have half of a. Yeah. I love that from them. Like, oh, like a serving and mm. eight of the quiche. Oh. Like, um, I'm terrible at having ready meals for dinner because they're never filling enough. Mm -hmm. I have to get two. Of the same one. Oh, but you're. Oh, that's my family call. Oh, hang on a minute. I've left a bottle of wine in the freezer. What's everyone got for dinner? I can't believe you guys have made it to this hour without eating already. Like, we ate like, hours ago. But... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. phone to the fan that means it's dessert time so dessert is creme brulee and i feel like this is a bit of a cheat because it doesn't actually have emily in paris on the branding but on the little sign that said what the product was it literally said emily in paris creme brulees i'll insert the photo here i feel like that's fine and then i could not not get these i think this is actually the coolest product in the whole range how cool i feel like the only time i ever have macarons is on an afternoon tea. I feel like they're quite a vibe sometimes. The flavours are raspberry, caramelised apple and vanilla. That sounds lovely. Let's have pudding. This smells so good. Hello. Hello. Macarons. I might go for the green one. Oh, the little Eiffel Tower on it. Green pink. Is there a third one? Yeah, What's vanilla. Oh, it's grey. No, grey? pink. Grey? Yellow. That's not yellow. That's not grey. Okay. Why would they make a grey macaron? Oh, so you, you tell me. There pink, you pink, pink. Wait pink. for it. We need to cheers our macarons. That is odd. Too sweet for me. I'm not really a macaron person, I'll be honest. I think you should have done it all in one. That's nicer, the vanilla one. Tastes like vanilla bean paste, which is like my favourite thing. Oh, your favourite thing? <laughs> mm. It's just such an odd thing, macarons. Right, I'm going to try this. There you go. Yeah, all in one, I reckon. Why would you do that? <laughs> that is stupid. Mm. Verdict, wouldn't buy them again. And that's just macarons in general, that's not just these. I feel like those were good macarons. The vanilla was definitely the best. The green was a bit weird. The apple. Oh look, there's no cracky top. Oh. Oh. Part of the reason I like creme brulee is because of the cracky, cracky top. top. The texture's just not it. Oh. I think it's too hot, if anything. Like, I'm getting a bit overwhelmed and hot. I'm feeling quite hot. Mm. Verdict for the day. The best bit was definitely, hands down, the gnocchi. Not gnocchi, oh. shortellini, field pasta. That was so good. The worst thing was definitely those crepes. That dessert kind of disappointed me a little bit. That's actually really sad. Dinner also slayed. All the savoury things were really nice. The oh, sweet man. things, not so much. Do you want a drink tonight, darling? Not really. Oh, how uncivilised. Hee hee hee. I'm stuffed. I'm going to finish this video here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you next week for another video. Bye.